Hi guys, this is an update on an earlier video that I made. Previously I'd shown you a tool that I'd made for cutting islands on copper coated circuit board. I've made several circuits using this method but I found that the fiberglass board blunts the cutting tool very very quickly. Unfortunately I recently broke a 9 inch long quarter inch high speed steel drill for which I was very disappointed but when the drill broke it left a very sharp tongue sticking up on one side and I thought if I grind that to the appropriate shape I could make a, a nice little japanning tool out of the drill and that's exactly what I did and this is the cutting tool uh, that I now use for creating the islands on the circuit boards. I used a small disc cutter in a handheld grinder to create the cutting edge. Remember if you are creating tiny cutting edges like this al always keep the drill cool, dip it in water frequently so as to take the heat out because if you blew the steel then uh, it will not hold uh, a cutting edge uh, you'll, you'll have back tempered the material. This is the cutter in operation I've cut uh, 17 or 18 uh, islands on this board and uh, the cutting edge on the drill is still uh, in good order. With this type of cutter it's absolutely vital that you clamp the material down. Because of its eccentric nature if you don't clamp the material down the cutter will whip the material out of your hands. You'll see I've got a, another sheet of material clamped to the bed plate and that's to act as a guide for the circuit board. Here's a close-up of the circuit board and uh, this is getting in really close now and you can see there's no sign of uh, tearing of the copper I'm very pleased with uh, the finished result. And this is the circuit board. I've just got a couple of components on there just to give you some idea of what's happening. I'm going to build a three transistor FM transmitter on this board. Um, but that's for another video. Anyway, just wanted to share that update with you. I uh, hope you found it interesting. Um, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.